What is up homies, my name is Felix and I'm here back again with another video for you all today. And this video today is going to be pretty cool if I do say so myself. As you can see, got this thing right here, this, this big honking thing. This bad boy right here is the Yamaha PSR 77. It was originally released in 1995 and I got it for $15 at Goodwill. To be perfectly honest with you, I didn't even know if this thing was going to work or not, so I just kind of went out on a limb and got it. So yeah, today we're going to be trying to make a beat with this bad boy right here, and I think it might turn out pretty good because some of these sounds are actually really cool. So yeah, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with the playlist with songs I've produced, my beat store, my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you'd like to do so. Fizostore.com, obviously, go cop yourself some fire drip, such as these right here. So yeah, now we can get into this video. All right, so this whole thing is pretty hefty, so I'm going to put it on on a little little keyboard stand just so that it's a little more man just so that it's a little bit more manageable you know so yeah I don't really know how uh, uh... alright so we got it set up on the little keyboard stand thing here which is pretty cool first let me show you guys some of the features here that it's got it's really nothing crazy but it just has a couple really cool presets in here these are all the different presets you can choose from these are like songs or whatever you can choose from then these are like also songs over here I don't really know but this is the little pad where you can choose your presets I'm not really gonna be messing around much with like the songs and jam tracks or whatever I'm mostly just worried about the individual sounds but yeah so I literally just got this thing a couple hours ago I haven't cleaned it off or anything I could see somebody had like you know note name stickers on here <laughs> amateur and also I think I need to give this thing a once over with a Lysol wipe or something because my fingers have this like black stuff on them and that's just from like handling the keyboard I don't know what that is maybe it's like the it could be like the paint coming off or something this thing has been around for like 30 years almost which is pretty ancient if you ask me but yeah so let me just play you guys a couple of these sounds because they're pretty cool some of them actually my personal favorite here, and the one that I'm probably going to use for a beat here today, is this little electric piano. It just sounds so nice. Just listen to that warmth there. Just Yeah, so that sounds super nice. There's also a couple other ones in here as well. Here's a little pan flute, which sounds pretty cool. Some of you guys probably know this, but I actually have a pan flute. That's a cool sound right there. I like that one a lot. 12 string guitar. Hmm. So yeah, there's really not a whole lot to this thing, but there's just a couple really cool sounds in there that I like quite a bit. So yeah, let's make a beat out of this thing. All right, so the first crucial detail that we really need to fall into place here is the fact that this thing actually connects to my computer because that would kind of suck if it didn't. So on the back of this thing, there's actually a little headphone port, which we're going to try to plug this into. And hopefully through there, we'll be able to connect to my computer. Okay. Okay, doesn't make any sound because it's plugged in. Fingers crossed that this here works. Okay, so that means we can actually do this video, which is definitely a good sign. Let's see how this thing sounds through the headphones. Not bad. There's a little bit of distortion that starts happening when you kind of push the volumes. That just adds a little bit of nice color in there. So yeah, honestly, I don't really know what to do first here. I think I might just start off with some drums from my brand new drum kit that will be coming soon. Alright, I kind of like those chords right there, so let's just get a little something like that going. We gotta stand up for this. Gotta go real try hard mode. Cool. Kind of cool. That's good, honestly. 
Okay, so as you can see, I kind of just recorded a bunch of different stuff and just whatever works is what I'm going to use. Honestly, doing this is a lot quicker and a lot more like freeing of a workflow because I can kind of just hit the record button and then just play whatever I want to play and then stop it, hit the record button, play again and just layer up the sounds really quick like that. Whereas with plugins, you're going to have to pick which sound you want to use or whatever. But yeah, it actually is a lot of fun to use this thing, even though the sounds are old crappy keyboard sounds. I think it kind of fits in pretty well with my style. Uh... So you guys know the drill here pretty much in every single one of my videos. I'm like, I think I'm gonna record some guitar now So I think I'm gonna record some guitar now Okay, so I just recorded your mom just recorded your mom actually all right So I just recorded a little guitar part and maybe a little beatboxing as well. Alright, so I know you guys probably didn't know this, but I'm actually an instrument, so I'm going to record myself right now. Just kidding, but I am actually going to record a little bass action. A little bass. This is actually not a little bass. This thing is pretty heavy. Alright, so I just recorded a really simple bass line. I'm gonna go and change it later on to make it a little more interesting. But what I'm gonna do now is actually kind of beef up these drums a little bit because from the very beginning, pretty much all I've had is All right, so at this point, I think I've pretty much added all the sounds that I want to add. I think maybe later I might go in and add a couple of sounds from like serum and stuff just to beef this whole thing up a little bit. But yeah, so now really the only thing we have left to do is mixing, which I have a lot of to do here for sure because there's a lot of different sounds in here that I need to make, you know, all fit together. Hopefully the goal here is to make the whole thing sound a little bit more vintage. But after I mix it and everything, I just need to lay out the beat and then I'll be pretty much done here. But yeah, honestly, I think that is just about going to do it for me in this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here today. I actually really enjoyed making this beat. This this thing is a lot of fun to use. I'm definitely going to be going to be using this bad boy in the near future. I think it's really exciting to use this thing because you guys know I've kind of worked that like synthy old school vintage style sound into my own style. And you guys know I'm always using plug-in emulations and stuff like that. So to actually have like a piece of hardware instrument, even though it's not like the craziest instrument, is actually really cool and I think it fits with my whole style pretty well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You'll probably be seeing this thing in some more videos here and there. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below along the playlist of songs I've produced, my beat store, my discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you'd like to do so. Bezostore.com, cop yourself some fire drip, and I will see you guys next time. Some